Having a good summer so far and good <laughs> fall camp? Yeah, we're having a great summer, a, a good a good fall camp. You know, everything, we have things to tweak on a little bit, but you know, it's, it's life. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are focusing on takeaways a lot, and that was a strength in the spring. How's that going in these first two practices? It's going good to, uh, today. Yesterday, we didn't have, we, I don't think we had, I don't think we had one takeaway. And today, like, you know, I had to talk to the secondary before we went out to practice and just let them know, like, man, just play calm, just have fun. That's the whole purpose, because I seen the younger dudes just had a little nervous and a little intense. Just have fun. This this thing, this is the game that we played for since we've been small. So if we do that and have fun, we can do it all. And so we have four turnovers today. A lot of the young secondary secondary dudes had like, had some picks, so I'm I'm happy right now and I just wanted to keep moving forward and keep elevating. Yeah, how are you feeling about those younger guys that are behind you now? And how, are, how much are they pushing y'all? Oh, they pushing us to an extent, because now it's competition now. So at the end of the day, even though if, if, if there's a chance that me and Monterey do start, we still know if some, one of us go down, we have someone that can come in and still just keep having it on beat, like nothing happened left. So it's good, and it's good to know that you have someone else behind you to know, like, okay, I always got to be on my A game as mm -hmm. well. So it's a job. When you guys have been lining up against the offense so far, who's been who's been right behind you? Uh, the person that been behind me was uh, Micah Smith. Okay. Micah Smith, he, they just moved him. He, he just like another Swiss Army blade. They moved him from safety to nickel to mm -hmm. cornerback. So as athletic as he is, I can see him playing anywhere on the field. So, yeah. So. How are you feeling about your body, and what did you do specifically this summer? Uh, my body, um, I gained almost near to 15 pounds and you know this summer I just been eating healthy eating right and you just know like when my body do feel so after workouts I just get in the cold tub and get in the hot tub just have a little contrast to get my legs back right and just stretch a lot and drink a lot of water because I don't want to pull a hamstring or anything like that. How much more comfortable this year do you feel for for fall camp than you were last year? Oh uh, man uh, last year fall camp you know uh, I was here with Coach B so coming here my first year as a freshman fall camp was like a month two practices so it was hectic it was mm -hmm. coming as a high school or a freshman it was like my head was everywhere like what to do like uh like it's football really for me like so coming to last year i like okay it's two weeks how i'm gonna take it it still hit me kind of hard and then i just had to prepare for it and this year fall camp i'm just attacking it taking it head on as being one of the captains in the secondary i have to let the younger dudes know and let all my defensive players know that um we're gonna be fine and that we're gonna get through this and when the season comes it's gone it's gonna be a show to watch what's your style of leadership how how vocal are you and I don't know are you a negative leader or <laughs> positive you know there's there's kind of a difference uh, I've never been a negative leader mm -hmm. you know I just want a person to talk to me how I would want to be talked to mm -hmm. so I, when I talk to Devin like if they have a bad play or a great I let them know like hey you can forget about the next play and I just try to correct them on what they need to do better and as a leader you need to start taking criticism criticism as well because i'm not perfect so when if, if ever Devin be like oh you need to do this and that i'll listen to him and soak it in like a sponge and that's what a leader have to be you always have to play both sides of the ball to see where people come from and just never take it personally just after having a whole season under chad morris just what do you think of him and how he is as a head coach? Oh, I, I love Coach Morris. Coach Morris is a great coach. He's a family man, and that's what I love about him the most. That's why I love Coach B, because he's a family man as well. And Coach Morris, he he put it on us. He let us know, like, if we lose a game, it's all on him. And, you know, being mature as a man, you don't want another man to, to take, take your loss for you. You want to try to be a man and take mm -hmm. your own loss. And he always tried, like, he tried to cover up and try to save us like, as, as we as kids. So I just love Coach Moore. That's, that's, that's one of my favorite coaches. Yeah, you feel like he has your back? Yes, he, oh, he definitely have our back against anybody. As long as we in the right, he, mm -hmm. he have our back. So that's why I appreciate Coach Morris. How's Coach Smith and has his intensity kind of gone up this season? Oh, his intensity haven't went up yet. Cause like, Coach, I haven't seen Coach Smith really mad yet. And I'm not trying to, <laughs> but um, yeah, his intensity went up. Um, he expect a lot out of me and uh, Buster Brown, so it's just like he just not having our, his foot on our neck. It's just to a certain extent, he just wants us to be great and wants us to be the leaders that he know we can be. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's a high expectation with him and Coach Coop, especially Chief as well. So.